with round one of the Pioneer Preliminary Event. We're playing Mono White Devotion. This hand looks pretty good to me. It has turn one, Draven Inspector, rest in peace and good. We can crack the clue. Hope the beginning of the trials and the odd will be good. Being on the draw is unfortunate, but we should be good. This hand is very powerful against a lot of different decks. Against Spirits, this hand is pretty medium. But, you know, we can do something here. Okay, opponent is kept their seven. They're deciding what they want to do on turn one. <laughs> okay, opponent, what's going on? What's going on? What do you got for me, buddy? Let's give them the good old question mark, see what they're doing. <laughs> How many people in this prelim? Only 29 players, damn. Badutina got the buy, classic. <laughs> Badutina needs all the help you can get, of course. I'll eat a little bit of soup while I'm waiting, I guess. Thank you. Thank you for the follow rear DL, I appreciate it. Soup is tomato soup with hemp seed and some cheese. That cubed up. I never I didn't season it, god damn it. I forgot to season it in my haste to get it before the prelim. Well, whatever breeding pool is doing, rest in peace is good against it. Okay, I didn't take the hidden strings. Don't have it yet, either. Good luck, opponent. That's breach. We're probably still gonna get dumpstered. I kept a seven without Lotus Field. Hmm. Okay, there's Sylvan Shrine. Last one. Okay, that's fair. I want a Knight of the White Orchid here. I don't think so. Hit cards galore. Played plans too. Exactly, the Grange Ballista. Yeah, but we would have to draw one of them. And the thing is, I still want a Gideon first. So it's pretty unlikely that that would happen. So I think I want to get in for first. This isn't even as brutal as you may think because they could just get Ugin out. That is true. There is no point to playing it. Okay, I'm gonna be jamming in for millions repeatedly. No, I did miss up, mess up. I should have played Helion on turn three because it attacks for five rather than four. We gotta play Gideon, and it makes it so we do have the out of drawing exactly Grange Ballista to kill as well. Hmm. Hmm. What do we choose? Suspian stage to their hand, okay. Yeah. 
down here. Hmm. Well, they, they have to block here if they're blocking like that. Coming to Sar MTG, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. They somehow got a Ugin or Hour of Devastation. You know, they got me. I really doubt they're going to be able to. Whose voice is that? That is the voice of my old roommate's girlfriend, who he made and make it for me. Which is pretty funny, I think. I think we got him. Without field, I agree. Thanks for my fiber. <laughs> yeah, I think cracking this is good. Okay. No, that was a mistake. We were supposed to arc this out because then we could shoot this down. I don't think it really changes anything. Did I miss, mess up here? Yeah, no, I definitely messed up multiple times. Oh, we just had five lands on top, okay. Yeah, I definitely messed up here and we could actually lose this game still. Unlikely, but possible. Dodge with three blockers. Um, no, because of Blast Zone on two, kills my Knight of the White Orchid. So, they lose their whole board. Hmm. <laughs> Which seems kind of bad for them. And they lose a the land. I'm not exactly sure what combination of cards they could have to win, but I assume that they have outs or else they wouldn't continue to play. Hmm. It doesn't matter. This is port row after board. I don't. That would be awful. So they're down to two. I have to deal with my whole board, which our devastation does not do because of Gideon. Up. Racing before breach. Hmm. Okay, they've seen enough. Hey, Gideon Tribal, get in here. All with the damp spheres. Bring in these. Take out Baflion, take out Stasis Snare. I think we're just taking out Knight of the White Orchids. I 
from Salt Chef. <laughs> Field breach and strings. Or strings, yeah. That doesn't even guarantee that they kill. How do I enjoy playing it? I enjoy winning. <laughs> I think there's some interesting decisions sometimes. Bob Dog's still actually playing in it. That's insane. I think this is a clear mulligan. This hand looks a lot better. Did you get any other trials? This is better than Inverter? I don't think it's better than Inverter. But I think I have a win rate that's comparable to Inverter. Possibly better than if I was playing Inverter. Field it is. I guess we're kind of just put it to playing this, right? Maybe we're not supposed to play it and just play Anaphens and then not play Gideon. But I just want to like curve it to Gideon. Fan, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. A little difference of fifty three of this fifty seven percent. I can see that. And we're think we're slowly getting to the point where inverter. It's becoming tuned enough where that is not the case. Hmm. I drop five fleet finishes. I still get my QPs. You will. So we're going to go get Turn Nature. Sure, that's fair. If I had more mana, or if I didn't have the Damping Sphere problem, maybe we can get this still. Call in next turn we can go like Heliod and Offenza. Probably we're supposed to not damage three on turn two now that I've seen how this game progressed. Hmm. Kind of inflated. Sort of man. Wait, because of a new card? Yeah. The real thing is just ban Digdu time. 
just man dig through time and it solves all the problems but basically the end of that song and nature yep and the lotus field I'm playing blue white you can play blue white without dig Tonight. Oh, looks like we got our four one or that prelim's done. Friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Untap. Okay. Hmm. I'm just like probably dead. That's fun about you. Uh, so so easy for you, Scrub Lord. Alright, let me take a look sees at this. Good job on getting the four one, Ben. You love to see it. My opponent combos off, I'm gonna make them combo all the way through. They're down to 13 minutes already. So time will be an issue for them. They possibly make misplays in game three because of that. That seems correct to do. Yeah, we're definitely in the hope and pray. Hmm. Well, tonight. Hey. Yep, McWin Sauce posted about it. Bocha93, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Almost minus. I guess I should have played to beating Ugin. I didn't realize that they actually bounced back their fate wishes. That was a mistake for me then. Hmm. This speaks to me. Hmm. Oh, France. Hmm. <laughs> Mm hmm. all up this time. Wow, well, tonight. Hmm. Okay. Let me get me more. Hmm. Let me get me more. My friends. Opponent sure is taking their time right now. We will play whatever comes up on the mind mix, of course. I gotta start eating my soup or else it'll get cold. Hmm. 
I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna make sure that I turned off the burner downstairs. Cause I'm not 100% sure if I did. I feel like I have doubts now. Okay, didn't leave the burner on. Pull up deep in the tank. See if they can figure it out. Okay, you went out of the name. Heard this song a little bit too many times. Hmm. I just want to see what this song is. I have no idea what it is. Searchable out to early inverter. Yeah, and sometimes you need it to go off yourself. Power of Devastation. That's what I assume is coming down. Oh, blink of an eye. Huh. Oh, this song is a straight banger. I'm very surprised about blink, and blink of an eye. What does blink of an eye do? Oh, okay, I see. Well, they're dead. Oh. Just one second, let me take this call real quick. Sorry about that, just had to finish up a call with my mom. Looks like we got there in two somehow. I feel like our opponent may have messed up. We definitely messed up for sure, but got lucky in the end. And hopefully we can continue our streak of winning games into the uh, next match. I'll see you there. We're back with round two of the Pioneer Preliminary Event. We've got a reasonable hand here. It's not the greatest, we're on the draw. We have a couple different interaction spells. Hopefully one of them is relevant. Mm -hmm. Okay, it looks like we're either against Inverter or against Soul Time, more than likely. Um, this song is called here, E I R, I will, uh, I'll just I'll just do this. Don't butcher it. This is the song. Looks like we are against Inverter. Thought Erasure here. Yep. Unfortunate. We lose our rest in peace. This card does nothing in this matchup. Hmm. Okay, I guess we're just going to be cracking the clue. Yeah, everyone always talks about the non-matching basics. I'm I'm a fan at this point because it tilts other people. Song a million times. This song I've heard a million times, but it's straight banger. Ba -ba. Mm hmm. I doubt it do. They bought them, so they are they either already had a land. Ooh. Ooh. 
Are you guys ready to get censored? Because I'm fucking ready to get censored. In the air and not some love in every way. So give me the night. I didn't get censored. What a time to be alive. Dance, dancing. Action. Do, da, da, do, da, da, do. Romance. Action. Dance. Jeez. You hate to see that. Hmm. Well, it's just dead, right? I forgot that I just have Gideon. I can just kill it. I think I'm gonna be mana inefficient and just Heliod here, because it'll just be like active next turn dealing more damage on average. It's obviously worse if I draw exactly Nykthos, but besides that, I think we're... Fun spot. I mean, we have to take it out. We can't just leave it there. That's fair. <laughs> They're okay with this, my assumption. Yeah, that's fair. Hopefully no... No draw of... Of dig through time, that would be unfortunate. Ten, nine. Thoughtsies. Okay, so they're probably taking the Arcanist style. Spell Excel target creature opponent controls. Okay, yeah, so we can just play Baffling and still turn on Heliod, so that's good for us. Oh, they probably just have a fatal push for Thraven Inspector. It's unfortunate. There's the fatal push that we were talking about. Oh, no fatal push? They don't have fatal push. I'm gonna put the counter here because if this is staying alive, we're winning anyways. I'm not gonna play on my land because it possibly makes them think that I could have drawn something of relevance. Why would he not opt first for Fatal Push? What? Am I, am I missing something? Fatal Push just literally t saves him six damage. Some love and anger, man. So give me that. They topped with op and then they bottomed with op. So I'm guessing with their top, they topped another op. Just topping another op there is free. Here's downfall. Another dig through time, the third. It's pretty good. We have a lot of top decks that basically went on the spot. That's the third dig, because here's the first and the second one. <laughs> they conceded. You love to see it. You love to see the concession. Boogie down, down, it open that boogie down, down. Okay, I saw him versus live people sideboarded wrong, so I'm gonna show you guys how to really sideboard. Let's move tonight. So the spice of life. Don't want the third recipes because we're done at recipes. They're really bad. 
Um, once you get one down, they can't deal with it. You want all the Gideons, of course. Elspeth conquers this to deal with Jace. Uh, Wielder of Mysteries. Take out one Knight, because it's the worst card, I think, as these cards get to combo. It's actually possible that that's not correct on the draw that I actually want to get rid of an Anafenza. The chance of this surviving through a Fatal Push is unlikely, whereas this can gain some value. So I think on the draw, we want to take out Anafenza, and on the play, we want to keep it in. And I think that's how we want to sideboard him. Oh, right. Hopefully that mouthful was able to be deciphered by anyone that actually cared about it. <laughs> well, leave your head, though. Take the stroll. Take the teeth. Alright. Stasis Snare, like... So Stasis Snare does deal with their secondary threats, but their secondary threats are nearly always irrelevant because either if you don't have Gideon of the Trials out, you're probably losing uh, a lot of the time, and Gideon of the Trials deals with all their secondary threats, so like that's what you should be playing towards. I saw in Versus Live they sideboarded like in Stasis Snares, or in some mount, didn't take them out, and then took out like all the Knight of the White Orchids, which made it so that they could like never apply aggression. Early on. But if you don't apply, like, any, like, two drops or aggression early on, or you don't have, like, exactly rest in peace, basically, like, you, they just have an infinite time, and they don't, like, they basically don't have to respect, oof, I'm gonna keep this hand, I'm not excited about it. Guess I'm doing that, yeah. Makes it so idyllic range isn't as good of an out, but... Um, if the game goes long, I've had Castle Arn Veil become very important, especially with Rest in Peace hands. We're getting Thought Seized. Or they have Opt. Opt is much preferable. This is much worse. On down. Boogie on down. Took Heliod. Every time someone is not taking Rest in Peace in this matchup, they always lose to it. Though they could just have Thought Erasure or Second Thought Seize. It makes... It could be fun. Wow, they just don't. That was a good draw. It's like... Everyone always tries to sidestep the Rest in Peace, and then they just, they just lose. <laughs> All the inverter players are like, Rest in Peace is bad, and then I just, like, win. Sick Liliana Last Hope, buddy. That was the wrong card to play. <laughs> right. Let's see one in this deck. I was a thought he's rip turn two and try getting the child. Oh yeah. It's your action, yeah. But it's not like the That's annoying, but the walking ballista kinda of deals with it. Oh doesn't deal with the Liliana. I think I need to do this. Let the Liliana mine it or plus here. Problem with, like, how it just gives them, like, longer time. Chance of them not having a way to remove Owl is, is unlikely. And not having a way to remove Ballista is unlikely as well. Getting the value out of Ballista, just being able to kill the Planeswalker. That's obviously the worst case scenario. Maybe just take that. They have Thoughtseize and that sucks, but that's life. I 
Would have not liked to lose another Heliod there or Gideon Black Blade. They just didn't use the Liliana. I like it, I like it. I'm gonna do this to see um, if they have a counter spell. I wanna do this pre combat. I'm gonna play this now, see if they have Fatal Push. They don't have the Fatal Push, we gain a life, so that's something. Play this out. I think they do have a Fatal Push, though. I'm gonna send Gideon at Liliana and Arcanist out at J Manor. We lose a theoretical point of damage, but we play around Fatal Push, and the point of damage is probably negligible. Okay, there's the Fatal Push I was talking about. Oh yeah, we don't gain the extra life because of the rest in peace. That's my bad. The rest in peace makes this card worse, of course, in this spot, but I think it's fine. I'm going to leave this card in our hand. We showed in the previous turn that we're willing to, to play out our last land in hand, which in certain spots like this is fine, because it makes it so that, that there's a potential that they're going to cast Thoughtseize and lose life, but they don't need to. What the fuck is this? Oh, just Fatal Push, okay. It'll possibly make them cast Thoughtseize in a spot that they don't need to, because we showed our ability that we're fine playing land as the last card in our hand. And we didn't do it this time, so it's assume it, it, the assumption is that I have something in my hand of worth, of worth, right? And we got him in the end. I would love to know what his hand is and to see how much recipe has possibly screwed him over. No mind games. Oh yes. Thank you guys for. Oh, I guess I don't know what I'm thinking. We still got more magic to play. We're two and zero right now. Hopefully, we can continue to win. We beat Breach. We beat Inverter. Yeah, maybe Mono White's looking good. Who knows? We're 2 0. Hopefully, we can get the 5 0 again. I'll see you guys next round. Back for round three of the Pioneer Preliminary event. We are 2 0 right now. Haven't dropped a game. We'll see what we can end up doing. This hand, at worst, if Resin Peace doesn't do anything, we get a redraw with a 3 Aven Inspector. And then, um, if Resin Peace is good, we have turn 2 Resin Peace. So, can't really complain about this hand. We're against Matt. I think it's Matt Stein. And where Matt we dance with the devil. Okay, let's see what they're on. Let's see what they're gonna do. Sultai, which rest in peace is also good against, but you know we're not getting it. Thought they would be on inverter, but Sultai it is. That's getting... Don't want to play Blist for one against Sultai, I don't believe. Opponent said main deck rip, that's spicy. On your hand. Mom, we dance with the devil. Now that we know we're getting not getting thoughts used, I can just do that. Took Bloom Marsh, it looks like. Daxos, play a land, tack for one. I assume they're going to block. They decided not to. Alright, somewhat of a low life total at 14 already. They're still at two. 
thoughts using the shark. This is continuing my thought of Three of Inspectors, Ancestral Recall, Lightning Bolt, Healing Salve, and Dark Ritual on the same card. Hold on, hold on. With the devil. Okay, they used the blooming wires. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Okay, we'll see what this is before I play it. Okay. God, this looks like it's gonna be bad. Okay, I'm not playing this. <laughs> I fucking knew it was gonna be a Jeremy. Jeremy classic. I can do whatever I want, Jeremy. I I knew you were gonna do that. That was a cla that was, that was a, a classic move by you. <laughs> you can link another song if you'd like. It literally said get triggered in the song. Like that's awful. It's just uh. Got Corsair Crew Fix, okay. Jam this. Looks like she's gonna do it again. Of course. Yeah, I'm gonna do some work. Or oh, yeah. We can't even cast it yet. Okay, that's fine. Of course, the Groovix isn't actually doing all that much. Shocks, so they have Fatal Push or Thoughtseize? So they have Fatal Push? Damn. It's not bad. Hopefully, we draw planes. Not the worst. Hopefully, well, now with the Traverse, they can go look for a blue land. But next turn, they tap out for Uro. We can Ballista Combo, right? We have four. No, we're one short of Ballista Combo. Hmm. Yeah, let's see what this song is. We lost getting the trials. Okay. Hmm. That's really, really fucking annoying. Uh, I know they have fatal push too. That's the worst part. I'm gonna cast it. This is such a tilter. There's a fatal push. Yep. Maybe we're just not supposed to do anything. A fatal push regardless. It's just so disgusting that we can't cast these owls. Like, we do planes there and we just, like, win the game on the spot, basically. And we just get attacked with this and they can't, like, just fatal push this down. And they have to chump off with the Seder Wayfinder. We can even just not attack with Heliod. This game's not over, but we're definitely in a much worse spot. 
Because they can just Uro if they really want to. Because they can traverse for a blue land. It's SG Classic. I have not seen that version. History Benalia seems awful, to be honest. Hmm. So I just see Wayfinder. Yeah, those four cards. Um, I just want to see what puts it near Okay. Jace. Okay. Let me draw planes, please, for the love of God. I just, I really want to draw the planes. Ishkana. Ishkana doesn't really matter. We're more than likely going to find another Ballista with this if we get to cast it. And if we don't get a cast, we're probably losing the game, so. Well, I mean, I'm gonna jam this. I kind of have to. If we jam it, we just have to kill this. Which really fucking sucks, but. We have to. Really, really annoying that we can't cast our spells. Now this is definitely not likely to find, I would say. Damn, this is really, really annoying. Because if we got to, like, Arcanist out this turn, we'd be in a very good spot, I think. I think we're in a pretty bad spot. Because of this Uro. I'm supposed to attack here. I think our life total isn't as big of a jeopardy as theirs. Even though their life total isn't in fucking jeopardy at all either. Damn. Yeah, if this was planes instead of Nykthos. Actually, yeah, I mean, we would have been in a lot better spot, of course. Hmm. Damn, this is a bit of a tilter. Casting Ishkana instead of Uroing. That's very, very surprising to me. Okay. That gets me there. Thank the fucking lord we found something eventually. It is funny, we whiff there. I think we just attack here, start taking out at least something out of their board. We're fine taking some hits here because we're going to start being able to lifelink up and our, like double arc this style next turn. Really have the third fatal push? Or no, it's not even the third, it's just the second fatal push. Yeah, well. That's really annoying. Definitely did not play around Fatal Post because I thought I knew like all their hand. Guess I did not. Hmm. Hmm. All the owls, yeah. I have abrupt K on top, too. And there's Uro, so now they can abrupt K this. I'm, I don't even know if it was. Uh, that fatal push is so good. It was gonna get me basically regardless. I was gonna block, anyways.
It's like basically the only good attack. I'm just gonna block here. Hmm. They cast. Uh, cast a broke decay turn out of the way. Okay. Okay. Now we start drawing the plans. <laughs> Whip on the second one, of course. Hmm. Well, you've got outs to win still. They have Jace. Tyler's tracker, right? And an unknown. Big old pastures, obviously the Nutter Butters too. Quality content, yeah, no problem, Yvonne. Play no more removal spells because if we hit ballista, I think we can win. Uh, Thoughts he's on top. Classico. Maybe they don't, or they just get a draw with a row, yeah. I guess we can just block here. Thought C's, yep. Damn. Okay, so we need to just draw, draw, third ballista. Game is like a super tilter. Hmm. Huh. Just tag with everything. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we have to block like this. We can draw Ballista. Hopefully they just have nothing. That's the only way that we can win, but it's unlikely to draw Ballista. I don't think they have a removal spell in their hand right now. Sure. Okay. Need to get lucky. Get very, very lucky here. You have the possibility. That is not very, very lucky. So let's see, if we would have had that fourth, or the third owl, Ballista was these four, because we would have seen these two, and then able to see two more. We still have lost. Okay, that was a tilter, to say the least. Got these. Bring in these. Take out these. It's, this is how we're supposed to board. Mm -hmm. 
Cool. Okay, opponent. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see. Keep this. Nothing amazing, but has the potential for turn four combo two different ways. Mulligan to five, so that's helpful. I assume I'm gonna lose Heliod here. Hmm. That was correct. Just wanna be as aggressive as possible. Hopefully we don't continue to draw lands. Sucks that they probably have a Brut Decay here if they're not slamming either Sader Wayfinder or Jace. Looks like Sader Wayfinder it is. This is not this is not Oregon Tomb Sets Forest. Hmm. Grizzly Bear, oh yeah. Oh we didn't play our fucking land. Oh my god. That was really, really bad of me. Oh, my tilt from the last game continued over to this game. That's really unfortunate. Unfortunate. Luckily, drawing exactly three of Inspector doesn't punish us hugely. So now we can put the uh, counter onto here. Luckily, we drew the only card that made it so we didn't get incredibly punished. Hmm. Instantly sacking, what do they have? Just like ritual suit? Tamio? Aren't you just. Are they dead on board? Three, five, six, seven. I guess they're not dead on board. They're dead to this idyllic range, though. Wonder what they're gonna name. It's fatal push. Has agonizing remorse. That's fairly surprising. I do not want to show them getting allies into car. Do have lethal here. Even with a land, do we just have them dead? See, they would take two less. Yeah, no. I guess with getting odds into cart would have just been least regardless. Feel this way forever. Nourishing shoal. <laughs> if it was three paragraphs still, Jeremy, I would have fucking gotten you out of here. Huh. <sighs> Ever, ever, forever, ever. It never seems that long until you're gone. Where the enemy music at? Uh, it'll come, hopefully. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this in. Not the most excited about it.
They're mulliganing to five again. Okay, I'll take it. Hmm. I wonder what they're going to take. I could see you. Yeah, that makes sense. That's a good card to leave on top of my deck. I'm gonna do this, even though it just gets wrecked by like Fatal Pledge. Next turn, being able to Knight plus Rest in Peace is good here. Or, oh, you got it. I am for real. Meant to make your daughter cry. I apologize a trillion times. Hmm. Yeah, Rest in Peace probably like lights out along with the Gideon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Teamer Clovered. Huh. What is this? Hostage Taker? It's not bad. That's one way to get themselves back into it, possibly. Hmm. That was a good draw, too. I should have played my Heliod first. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Why did I tap my make this? That was also a mistake. Infinite. It's Pepe D every single time Iana comes on. No, I just have infinite Iana songs. <laughs> Four center, okay. And like Alexander Stan songs as well. Play this. Now we get a life link this first, make it so it doesn't just get like free blocks. <laughs> oh, they're seeing it. Oh, that's not going to work out well for them either. <laughs> yeah, they're slowly realizing there's no good block with this. Hmm. Can't no more. Looks like I have an upside. No good blocks for them, sadly. Lifelink up here, lifelink up here, lifelink up here. I'm just gonna do this just so that I don't have to like... Let's put a counter here, counter, counter here. Let's make it so everything can get past the hostage taker. Seder Wayfinder, sure. Hmm. 
Infinite lands. Oh, yeah, double traverse. Yeah, recipes kind of made them die. Okay, well, we're 3 0. Game one was bad. We punted game two, and then game three was smooth sailing. Double mulligan to five helps me out a lot. Hopefully, we can continue winning and get some more QPs. 3 0. Let's get the 5 0 again. I'll see you in the next round. Back here with round four of the Pioneer Preliminary Event. And we are playing against QB Turtle again, like in our last Modern Preliminary Event yesterday, or earlier for the 4 1. Hopefully, we can take this one down and get our. Uh, our chance at the 5 is to still stay alive. Hand looks pretty good. We have 1, 2, 3 locked up. Heliod, one of our best cards, of course. Potential to draw both land. We're against this deck. Okay. Well, Heliod's one of our best cards in this matchup. So, I like where our position is. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Now they're both gone. Tell me if main bad. I don't think it's bad. I just don't think you need it. I think we'll jump off here. That is annoying. think that this is going to be shrapnel blasted. Oh, I knew that, but I'm a goddamn idiot. Forgot that that was what he was going to do, because I forgot that card's in their deck. I should have just played Thraven Inspector. That was a huge mistake by me. Huge, huge, huge mistake. That was a huge, huge punt. Yeah, now we'd like just lose, or we should have just like cracked like three inspectors and crack clue. Yeah, we're dead here, sadly. Yep, definitely messed up there. Though I don't think we can actually win from that spot that we're in. Yeah, this would have been nice. Um, I think this is where we're at. Take out the rest in pieces. Take out Gideon Ally. I actually want four trials. don't think we want all trials. I think three is fine. If we can cut maybe one owl. Actually, I'd rather have an owl over a knight, I think. It's close, though. Yeah, if we played that correctly, would have played three of Inspector, then just crack Clue. They tap out. We get a chump with the three of an Inspector, then we get a land owl and go from there. Sand seems good to me. Have double removal spell, have Heliod Therm Inspector, can't really complain. Mm -hmm. Add some more emotes, you're lacking. I literally can't add more emotes. Why not? Because I don't, I'm, uh, tell your partner you only have a certain amount of emotes you can use. I 
think I'm going to play Heliod here, attack and then pass. The plan of hoping to draw land. Hmm. <laughs> Franker, oh, Franker phase emotes, that's fair, that's fair. Hmm. <laughs> Lord Beerus, how'd you end up doing in this prelim? I saw you were not doing great earlier. Okay, hopefully we can draw land. O three 3 feels bad, man. Oh my god, that's, that's so bad for me. Just has the Metallic Rebuke open. Has a double Ghost Fire Blade. Jabrut, okay. This will get countered. Yep, this to be expected. Um, take the hit. Feel bad about it. Like any of the trials. Plus here. I think we just pass here. The one damage is negligible and the potential attempt to put scissors on something. Matters here. I assume we're just gonna die. No bandless tournaments? I'm not, because they don't fit into my schedule with how they are done. That is beatable. Not exactly what I wanted to see. Definitely want to take this out while I can. Plus here. I'm going to pass. Nick, those would be a very, very nice draw. Somehow we're not dead here. I assume he's going to get four cards out of this, which is a problem. Maybe we're just supposed to take this out and plus here and then just like deal with that. But if he got a skilled animator on it or scissors on it, it would have been a big problem. A skilled animator. I'll just block. Kind of surprised they turned that to a big one. Not what I was looking for. I think I want to hit a land drop here. Thank God we did. Plus here again. Guess he's just trying to get a lot of cards out of it. Guess that makes sense. Don't think I'm supposed to attack with Heliod quite yet. No, this is not from Naruto. This is from... Um, Domestic Girlfriend, I believe it's called.
Mm-hmm. It is not a hentai. It's pretty close, actually. Well, not actually pretty close, but it's like, as anime goes, it is definitely hot and heavy to say. Say it. it, it the <laughs> the premise of the show is that you literally it was a guy who goes to a mixer and has sex with this girl for the first time. She goes like, okay, I don't want to see you anymore. And he's in love with his teacher. And then his dad goes like, I'm getting married. And then it just happens to be the girl he met at the mixer and the teacher are his new stepsisters. That's, that's literally the premise of the show. It is wild. Domestic girlfriend, yes. There's a specific scandal song I wanted to listen to. Listened to it earlier today, and this song's straight banger. This plays around even a rule spell on this, because we can then put a counter here. Stops the free flow of cards. What's the, the record? We're 3-0 right now, but we're down a game. Surprised he didn't just sack beforehand, because he sacks beforehand and finds scissors. That's like something else he can just get through pretty easily. Maybe, like, Gideon Emblem actually matters now. Well. I mean, we're gonna go for it, right? That's fair. Alright, got attack in. Essentially now it gives us like a bunch of extra life. Surprised he didn't chump with this. Hmm. MTG Fitness 22, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Hmm. Where else would I go to zero? Yeah. I mean, we're going to try not to go to zero, but, you know, they could have a lot of different things. Jeremy, you're never getting mod because of literally exactly what just happened. So this is definitely a difficult game for them to deal with, depending on what they have in their hand.
Skizzers, okay. That was Shrapnel Blast, and we're definitely dead. Taking out this, yep. Makes sense. Not that we can do about it. They slow, slow rolled the Shrapnel Blast and be tilted. Doesn't look like it. Another counterspell? Please no. Thank you. We can't attack the other things, so we don't do anything. I just took it again. Okay. That was dropped in Blast for Dead. Can't play around it, though. Okay, well, we're dead to that as well. Damn. Felt like we were just rough on mana here, like, the whole game. They just gotta exploit their mana advantage super, super well. Damn. Yeah, their mana advantage was super, super good this game. And Metallic Peak was also nuts, so... Hmm. Yeah, it's just really hard to, to get them. There's a couple different lines we took this game. May have made it so we lost, I'm not quite sure. A lot of different things you can do. Thank you, guys. Uh, hopefully we can uh, get the 4-1. I guess this isn't the final round, yeah. Hopefully we can get the 4-1 in the end. Get our QPs. I'll see you guys for the next round. Back with round 5 of the Pioneer Preliminary Event. I'm gonna keep this hand... I was told that I was against Niv Mizzet. I'm hoping that uh, I could just get a combo kill them on turn four. Sucks that we have recipes and a second Heliod against them, but we'll have to do our best. Lysenia, thank you for stopping by. They're deep in the tank on their mulligan of six. Okay. Looks like they mulligan to five and then kept. Frontier bivouac. Okay. Oh, there's the land. That's nice. Hopefully they don't have, like, any real spells. Went 5-2 with yesterday. Of course. Don't change what works, right? Something like that. Hopefully they don't Nahiri me. Nahiri would be the worst possible. Nahiri minus on this. Okay, so we're losing Ballista here, let me tell you. Kept on top. That's unfortunate. The odd. It's jam. Let's see if this is a land, I guess. Untapped land, and now they just get a Niv me. Tilt. Well, let's see what they got with the Niv. Yeah, so I can try the stick, that's fair. Let's enter the gods eternal into their hand. That's fair. Gotta put a counter on Heliod. Fuck me. That's really annoying. Put a counter here and then we get to start jamming in. Guess they can't block the Daxos anyways, so they make it so if they want to block here. We just, like, don't give them the option. I'm 
to the God Eternals here. Yep. Like I put a counter here. Now if we draw like something comes into play as a creature, it's good for us. That's something that comes in as a creature. The counter on Dexos. Get recipes into play. Start jamming. I think recipes is better than giving lifelink because of the potential for the Uro that they could play. Hopefully they don't have... Uh, that's annoying. I can just bounce Heliod. They did only draw one, yep. Dreadboard, ugh. That's disgusting. Okay. Hopefully they flood out with their like 30 mana sources. This is not good for me. Okay, that's fine. Gain some life, which is annoying. But it's better than some like random thing. Drawing Ballista would be nice. Hmm. We actually drew Ballista, but it got thought or issued. Ballista doesn't even like do anything on this board. Because we can't lifelink it up. And play it for two. Arcana style one time. Okay, the worst draw on our deck. <sighs> I'm still doing well in 2020, yeah. Don't worry, we drew the absolute worst draw on our deck, so. It's an interesting attack. Okay, they decided to not make the horde attack. Hmm. Sense. It's possible we're just supposed to send everything at Teferi because of this. So, depends on what they draw here. Like, half their deck is dead draws and half of them are unbeatable. So we'll see what they get. I see you later, Camel. Makes sense. Sure. You see why I'm losing. Damn, they mulligan to five and they did badly off this, but I just like drew triple E the odds, so I'm mulligan to five too. Basically need to draw stasis snare else we're dead, right? I guess Arcanist style could be fun, potentially. Unbelievable. <laughs> the actual fourth Heliod. Sometimes you're whitelisted and sometimes this happens to you. Actual unbelievable. Well, what can you do? Hmm. Um, 
I think this is fine. Possibly I want to set out one guinea of the trials of the third glare of heresy. See that being correct. Yeah, I'm gonna try that out. I haven't played this match in like forever. It's definitely very bad. I mean, I keep. Still on move, yeah, I know. They kept seven. This is probably over if they kept seven. <laughs> uh. Got a lead on the Sand Step Citadel too. Feels bad, man. What do you want? This guy's a motor grinder, yeah. Okay, I can beat that. Hmm. I'm gonna slam Heliod. Play something irrelevant, please. Don't play Nahiri. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. At least we can kill Nahiri. That's something. We should. I only hit it out of land, so of course. If they nib, at least we can glare it, and then Ballista. Nib, miss it. Hitting Breach of Light is very, very annoying, and they hit Thought Eraser too. It's Bloodburn of the Scope of Thought Eraser and Breach of Light into their hand. Bloodburn has Protect from Light, okay, classic. But Thought Eraser. Oh no, they put Bring to Light, so they have a Bring to Light in their hand. Hmm. I don't think we have lethal here. We get five, six mana. We're one mana off. I think we have to do this and then glare of heresy and hope for the best. I took Bring Delight into their hand, so I have to put a counter onto Heliod. I guess so it doesn't die to Hour of Devastation. So we'll see what they do here. Sure. Must be expected. I think we had to make those plays though. We can't blood baron us this turn, which is really nice. It's 
Assume they have a removal spell of some sort. Let's see what they do with this, okay. Do they have a removal spell of some sort? I'm just supposed to do this this turn. Because then they're going to be like Blood Baron and then they want to have Devastation next turn, right? We're hoping that they slam Blood Baron this turn and then we can get them. Blood Baron, I expected. I give it everything. Plus one, plus one, I attack with everything. Takes four. Guess you can just block here for free, can he? That was really, really bad of me. I was, yeah, that was awful. That was really bad. That was just a clear misstep. Now I don't think he has to Hour of Devastation. Now I can just go get Nib. Damn, I did not think about that quite long enough. Though, so, still have top decks that are fine, potentially. Basically, our best top deck, I think, is actually Thraben Inspector. Well, it's not actually Thraben Inspector, it's, uh, it's Walking Ballista, probably, depending on what they do, at least. I'm gonna bring to light here more than likely. Bring to light with five colors, yeah. Slaughter games. That's surprising. They're gonna name Walking Ballista. What if I just top deck something to make it so this is good? I guess they just have Fatal Push in their hand. So we're probably just dead. I'm just hoping I don't top deck. Shocked. Okay, never mind. They just have some sort of shitty removal spell or that. Well, I didn't top deck anyway, so it doesn't fucking matter. God damn it.
Hmm. What the fuck is their hand? Wonder. Perfect draw. Okay, so it was fail push that in their hand. Some of these cards that, that the new Mizzet decks gets to play is just real, real annoying, let me tell you. Sure. Oh shit, they just hit a million. Actually, I have four cards, so I'm just, I'm just super dead here. I don't have any outs after my slaughter games, or after I got slaughter games. Well, not much I could have done, I don't think, at this point. I guess I could draw a three wind inspector. Uh, I don't even know what I can draw. The Arkness down to something. Took out all my stasis snares though, so I don't even know what I can draw here. That's not it. This Blood Baron's gonna start taking over the game, and I have no way out. Yep. Yeah. Worst matchup. Continues to be the worst matchup. Damn. 3 0 into 0 2. Feels bad, man. But like we got unlucky in both of those games, but I don't know. I think I also played badly this game, so that didn't help. Definitely got unlucky in game one with hitting all four Heliots, but not much to do in this one. Well, if you guys liked it, even with the disappointing end, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe on the video. Make sure to ch check out my Twitch and Twitter in the description below. Make sure to follow those as well. And you'll see my deck list there as well. I'll see you guys in the next uh, video. Hopefully we can do a little bit better and not have a disappointing end like the 3-0 into 0-2. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.